So last year I made videos about the radioactive elements for my element collection series because I wanted to fill in those gaps and um, you know what I'm getting at, right? Like, I'm not getting those anytime soon. I'm never getting them because they're impossible to get, but I'm deciding to return to it today. I'm going to post a video about them once every week. I mean, I mean once every day. Sorry. And in today's video, we're going to talk about Californium. So, this is not Californium. I don't have any. And nobody does, except for those nuclear scientists that are making it in laboratories. But, that's very small quantities. Because Californium is a metal that is famous for being more expensive than diamond, and also for being highly radioactive. Its most common isotope lasts about two years. This is why we can only create five grams per year. And all that Californium, like, disappears in the next year after that. So, only about five to ten grams of Californium are present on Earth at any given time. But, if you were to gather all of that into one space, it would look something like this. If you purified it past 99%. It would also be quite soft, and you could bend it like this. Because Californium has way too much of a similar chemical properties to dysprosium. And this is dysprosium I'm holding right here. And another cool thing about it is that Californium is actually the heaviest element that has any practical applications outside of research. Like, it's primarily used to identify oil and water layers in wells and to start up nuclear reactors. But it's not all the time used for those things because it's radioactive and only a few grams bitter on Earth. But other than those, you're not going to find it anywhere. It's only used for specialized applications. And that is the last element that you will see that has any applications outside of research like that. And if you're wondering what the metal looks like, it looks like this. You see it's a metal disc under a microscope. And don't lick it. It's radioactive. It'll kill you. 